Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be able to drag an actor around the screen and when it overlaps with another actor, you're only going to be able to drag the top actor. Um, most people have a problem where if there's actors overlapping and they click it, all the actors will group together and start dragging with the mouse. And I'm going to show you a system uh, how to avoid that. Uh, and this is going to be a part one video. Part two is going to take it one step further and show you how to bring the actor you're touching to the top of the layer. It's kind of a trick. Um, you're not actually bringing the uh, actor to the top of the layer. It's just a, uh, a trick to make it look like so. And um, we'll do that in video two. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is create some attributes. And the first attribute is going to be an index attribute. And we're going to call this what actor. And we're going to leave it set to zero. And then we're going to create two real attributes. And we're going to call this cam offset x. And one more cam offset Y. And this is so um, when we click on an actor, it's going to grab it from where we clicked and not from the center. We don't want the actor jumping to the center. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to create one actor. And I'm going to open this actor here. And this is going to be our prototype actor. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create a rule and we're going to say when touch is pressed, we're going to change attribute game camera offset X to device mouse position X minus self position X and we'll do the same for the Y change attribute game camera offset Y to device mouse position Y minus self position Y so this is getting the offset of the camera and the touch. So therefore, this is what I was talking about. We're not going to grab the center of this actor. It's actually going to grab from wherever we touch on this actor. It's a really cool effect, and you'll see when we get to it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a self attribute. And it's also going to be an index. <clears throat> and we're going to call this my number. And this will be number one, because it's going to be actor one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to say change attribute, game, what actor, to one. So basically we're going to tell the game attribute what actor is being touched. Okay. Now we're going to put a quick timer in here. So we can make sure that that top stuff triggers before this stuff here. So I'm going to go timer. And we're going to say after. And it can be really quick. We're going to go 0.2 seconds. Run to completion. We're going to constrain. Actually, first thing we're going to do is create a rule got the rule. We're going to put the rule in here. And we're going to say when game or attribute game what actor is equal to self my number then we're going to constrain and we're going to constrain self position X two and we're gonna do device mouse position X minus game offset X 
And then we're going to do the same thing for the y. Constrain self position y to device mouse position y minus game offset y. And then the very last thing we need to do, we'll just shrink this here. We'll create another rule, and we're going to say when touch is released, we're going to change attribute, game, what actor, to zero. That way it resets itself and gets ready for the next actor. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag this on the scene here. And I'm going to drag another one. And another one. Now we're going to go into the second one. And we're going to unlock it. And we're going to go into the top rule here. And we're going to change this to 2. And this to 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a different color. Just so we can see things working. Now we're going to go into this actor here. Unlock it. And we're going to change this to 3, and this to 3, and I give it another color. Now you can do this for as many actors as you want. I'm going to go ahead and press preview now. And now you'll see when I select the... Now whenever I click, that's where it's going to drag from instead of snapping to the center. So I can put this now over top of this one, and I can put this one over here. And when I grab the purple one, you'll see I only take the purple. When I hit the green, it only takes the green. Uh, where traditionally it would take all of them that are touching. And you can drag them anywhere you want, and it will only take the one that you're touching. Now in the next one, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you that when I touch the green, it's going to bring the green to the top. If I touch the white, it's going to bring the white to the top. And it's a little trick I, uh, I came up with a while back. And um, so keep this file open, and I'll see you in the next video.